Baton Rouge Parish officials, they've been trying to address drainage issues for years now. As they continue to clear canal and secure additional funding, it may be looking like they're making some headway here. Well, Callie Hubbard joins us live this morning to explain what problem areas they're focusing in on right now. Callie, good morning. Liz, officials say the last significant rainfall event that we had caused challenges for folks living around Aberdeen Street in the South Down subdivision. They say that some streets there were holding water. Transportation and Drainage Director Fred Rayford says the maintenance department has been out there this week to check on those issues. Crews are also actively working on clearing and snagging from Ward Creek to Perkins Road. He says water in the area is now moving a lot faster. Other projects that we <clears throat> that they have um, say that helped with drainage include the recent completion of the Comet River cleaning project. As you know, the Comet River plays a big role in draining the cities of Baker, Central, Zachary, and North Baton Rouge. It spans over 20 miles from its mouth at the Amy River upstream past the Comet River Diversion Canal, nearly reaching Highway 64. The project began in March of 2023 and removed nearly 8,000 tons of debris. Rayford says the project has been crucial in reducing potential flood hazards. Several new builds are also going up. Officials say they should be built to drainage codes. On all the drainage projects that uh, developments that are taking place, they are going to be required to meet the new requirements of the, of the building code and the drainage improvements. Some may require detention, some may require downstream improvements. All those are determined based on what the overall engineering aspect looks at and what that runoff factor is going to be in regards and what improvements can we do or require the developer or the owner to do to address those concerns. Well, we're not backing off those issues. Leaders have also been trying to secure more funding and with the help of the American Rescue Fund Act, they say it's been a big help when it comes to improving drainage and EBR. Matt and Liz. Callie, thank you, ma'am.